Hi, this is Praveen Sparsh and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to be doing a series of three videos covering the basics of Carnatic percussion seen through the lens of this beautiful instrument, the Mridangam. All you need are three things. One, the Mridangam of course. Two, the notations which you can download from the link mentioned in the description box below. Make sure you've got these notations open when you learn the lessons. And number three, the most important thing, the commitment to learn and practice. Let's take a quick look at the different parts of this instrument. As you can see, the Mridangam is a double-headed drum. This is the right head called the Valantalai and it looks something like this. The Valantalai is used for the higher frequencies like This is the left head called the topi and it looks something like this. This is used for the lower frequencies like To bring out the lower frequencies, we use a paste that's stuck in the center of the topi. Traditionally what we used was a paste made out of semolina and water. In the current times, we use the plumber's putty, which is something that you can buy off Amazon. In the center is a resonating chamber called Kattai. In Tamil, Kattai means wood and this is just a wooden resonating chamber. Um, these are ropes that are used to hold these two heads together. First things first, how do you sit? You sit on the floor with your legs crossed. You gradually move your right leg outward at an angle. You can place a cloth on your right leg so that it doesn't get numb. Show it up. Now place the mridangam on the right leg. And now you raise the left knee such that it makes an acute angle with the floor to your left. And sit straight. Now that we are in position, what are we going to learn? The rhythmic cycle or talam that we will be dealing with in this tutorial is Adi Talam. Adi Talam is an 8 beat cycle and each beat has 4 counts. And the 8 beats are represented by clap, little finger, ring finger, middle finger, clap, turn, clap, turn. And as I mentioned, each beat has four counts. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. The total count of Aditalam is eight beats into four counts, which makes it 32 counts. In our system of music, beats are referred to as aksharams and counts are referred to as matres. So Aditalam has 8 aksharams and 32 matres. A quick note before we get started. Uh, this art form has been passed on over the years, primarily through the oral tradition. But since we're doing this through a virtual medium and each one of you might be learning in your own space, at your own pace, I thought it might be a good idea to have some notes. Hence. I have adopted a simple way to notate basic lessons following the conventional system of notations used in Carnatic music. Lesson 1. There are four basic strokes or syllables in Mridangam. They are Tha, Dhi, Dom and Nam. One more time. Tha, Dhi, Dom, Nam. The funny thing is, even before playing it, it's really important to say it. Reciting rhythmic compositions with Talam, I find makes me a better player. So let's try lesson 1 with Adi Talam. As you might recall, Adi Talam is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ta, Di, Dom, Nam. Ta, Di, Dom, Nam. Ta is played on the left head, all five fingers together and a hard stroke on the center of the topi. 
One more time. D is played on the right hand where your little finger, ring finger and middle finger are together and make sure you've got an acute angle with your index finger and a hard stroke right at the center of the Valanthale. One more time. Dum is played on the left head, all five fingers together and a hard stroke towards the outer edge of the inner circle with the first four fingers. One more time. Make sure that you've got your fingers firm but your wrist and forearm loose. Feel the bounce in the stroke. A common mistake while playing this stroke could be where the stroke is muted, whereas the sound should be. As soon as you strike, make sure you release your hand. is played on the right head. Bend your ring finger such that it makes an arch with the surface of the Valanthale and strike only with your index finger. One more time. Common mistakes while playing numb could be something like this. Now the problem here is I'm using my other fingers while playing the stroke. As you can see, the only finger that's used to play the stroke is the index finger and all you should hear is a sharp sound. The moment I start adding my middle finger to the stroke, it's going to sound like this. It's going to sound muffled and muted. So lesson one sounds like this. At this point, I would recommend you pause the video and practice the four basic strokes Ta, Di, Dum, Nam. Make sure you get familiar with the sound, touch and feel of it before proceeding further. Lesson 2. This one's going to be really simple if you have practiced lesson 1. Lesson 1 had one syllable for one beat. Lesson 2 is going to have two syllables for one beat. So lesson 1 sounded like Ta, Di, Lesson 2 is going to be ta, ta, di, di, do, do, na, na. So with Ali Tala, sounds like ta, ta, di, di, do, do, na, na. Ta, ta, di, di, do, do, na, na. So the way it's played is 1, 2, 3, 4. Lesson 3 follows lesson 2 and yes, you guessed it right, each syllable is played and said thrice. Lesson 3 sounds like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, ta, 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 di, 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 do, 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 nam, 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 ta, 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 di, 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 do, 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 nam, 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 ta, 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 di, 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 do, 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 Nam, 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 ta, 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 di, 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 do, 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 nam, nam, nam. As you might have noticed, we have to say this pattern for lesson four times for it to come back to the beginning of the rhythm cycle. Now let's play lesson three together. One, two, three, four.
4 is an extension of lesson 3 and I promise you'll stop with this. Lesson 4 is saying each syllable 4 times. Ta, 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 di, 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 dom, 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 num, 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 num. Lesson 4 sounds like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. So far, what we said is what we played, but in this system of music, it could also be that a stroke is said one way and played another way. For the next three lessons, you'll need to learn a new stroke called ta. Remember how you made the acute angle for the and you struck with these three fingers? Ta is using the index finger to strike right at the middle of the inner circle, keeping the same position intact. Okay. Lesson 5 goes like this 1, 2, 3, 4. Ta, ki, ta, di, ki, ta, dum, ki, ta, na, ki, ta, na, okay. 2, 3, 4. Ta, ki, ta, di, ki, Ta dum ki ta na ki ta. Now the two new sounds that you hear are ki and ta. In this lesson, ki is played as di and ta is played as ta, which you just learned. So lesson five is played like this: one, two, three, four. Lesson 6 is an extension of lesson 5. So we had ta, kit, ta, di, kit, ta, dum, kit, ta, nam, kit, ta, as lesson 5. Lesson 6, we're going to add two new syllables. Ta, ka. So it will sound like ta, kit, ta, ta, ka, di, kit, ta, ta, ka, dum, kit, ta, ta, ka, nam, kit, ta, ta, ka. So with the thalam, 1, 2, Three, four, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, di, ki, ta, ta, ka, dum, ki, ta, ta, ka, nam, ki, ta, ta, ka, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, di, ki, ta, ta, ka, dum, ki, ta, ta, ka, now, ki, ta, ta, ka. Now, the fingering of ta, ka is ta, di. So, ki, ta, ta, ka becomes di, ta, ta, di. One more time. Di, ta, ta, di. So, lesson 6 is played as 1, 2, Three, four.
Lesson 7 is a combination of lesson 5 and lesson 6 and it goes like this 1, 2, 3, 4 Ta, ki, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, di, ki, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, dum, ki, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, nam, ki, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka. Now let's try playing it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Lesson 8 is a set of phrases that we will be exploring as different subdivisions. The first one sounds like this. 1, 2, 3, 4 Takka dinna, 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 takka dinna. For this lesson, takka dinna is played as D do do D ta ka di na is played as D do do D. So the lesson sounds like this: one, two, three, four. The second subdivision sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Takka dinna tar lang. Takka dinna tar lang. Takka dinna tar lang. Takka dinna tar lang. For this subdivision, you need to learn a new stroke called chapu. Chapu is one of the defining sounds of this instrument. The formation for this is to place all four fingers at a slight distance from each other. To play, strike at the outer edge of the inner circle of your right head using just the little finger. One more time. Common mistakes while playing chapu could be something like this. Now here, the key is to be guided by the sound, so one must feel the ring rather than the boom. So a ring sounds like this, while a boom sounds like this. Or So make sure you've got your wrist firm and feel the ring. One more time. Takadina Tarlang is played as, Takadina is our usual and then talang is ta, ta ku, du. So it becomes So the subdivision 2 goes like this 1, 2, 3, 4 
Subdivision 3 is just the reverse of subdivision 2. It sounds like this. 2, 3, 4. Tarlam, good takka din, tarlam, good takka din, tarlam, good takka din, tarlam, good takka din. 2, 3, 4. Subdivision 4 sounds like this 1, 2, 3, 4. Takka dinna, kitta takka, takka dinna, kitta takka, takka dinna, kitta takka, takka dinna, kitta takka. Takka dinna is usual di dom dom di, and kitta takka, as you may recall, is kitta takka, right? Di So subdivision 4 sounds like this. Subdivision 5 is the exact reverse of subdivision 4 and it sounds like this. 3, 4. Kitta takka takka dinna. Kitta takka takka dinna. Kitta takka takka dinna. Kitta takka takka dinna. Same fingering. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Subdivision 6 goes like this 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Tucker dinna, dum, kitta, tucker dinna, dum, kitta, tucker dinna, dum, kitta, tucker dinna, dum, kitta. Now, dum in this lesson is a stroke that is played with both the hands simultaneously. So, dum here is essentially dum plus na. So, Takadina is our usual di dom dom di. So, dom is dom plus num. And then ki ta is ta di. Takadina dom ki ta. So, Subdivision 7 is the exact reverse of subdivision 6 and it sounds like this.
equation 7 with that. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Dum, kitta, takka, dinna, dum, kitta, takka, dinna, dum, kitta, takka, dinna, dum, kitta, takka, dinna. Subdivision 8 sounds like this. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Dum, kitta, dum, kitta, dum, kitta, dum, kitta, dum, kitta, dum. Kitta dum, kitta dum, kitta. It sounds like this. Subdivision 9 sounds like this 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Kitta tucker, 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 kitta tucker. And as you may recall, the fingering of kitta tucker is B, ta, ta, B. So it sounds like this. The last subdivision sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. That long, 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 that long. And as you may recall, the fingering of that long is ta. So. Lesson 9 is super important and it's something that I practice every day even now. It sounds something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ta, ka, ta, ri, ki, ta, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ri, ki, ta, ta, ka. And the fingering goes like this. So it sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Lesson 10 is a combination of Lesson 7 and Lesson 9. As you may recall, Lesson 7 is ta, kitta, kitta, takka, di, kitta, kitta, takka, dum, kitta, kitta, takka, nam, kitta, kitta, takka. And then Lesson 9 was takka, tarvi, kitta, takka. So if we put this together, 
किट्टर किट्टर तक्कर तक्कर तर्वी किट्टर तक्कर दी किट्टर किट्टर तक्कर तक्कर तर्वी किट्टर तक्कर दुम किट्टर किट्टर तक्कर तक्कर तर्वी किट्टर तक्कर नम किट्टर किट्टर तक्कर तक्कर तर्वी किट्टर तक्कर किट्टर किट्टर तक्कर तक्कर तर्वी किट्टर तक्कर दी किट्टर किट्टर तक्कर तक्कर तर्वी किट्टर तक्कर दुम किट्टर किट्टर तक्कर तक्कर तर्वी किट्टर तक्कर नम किट्टर किट्टर तक्कर तक्कर तर्वी किट्टर तक्कर सो द फिंगरिंग इज द सेम एज इट वाज इन लेसन सेवन एंड लेसन नाइन Lesson 11 is a combination of each of the subdivisions of lesson 8 and lesson 9. As you may recall, the first subdivision of lesson 8 was takka dinna takka dinna. And as you all know, lesson 9 is takka tarvi kitta takka. So lesson 11, the first subdivision of lesson 11 sounds something like this. 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 तक दिन तक दिन तक तरवी किट तक तक दिन तक दिन तक तरवी किट तक द फिंगरिंग रिमेंस द सेम सो लेट्स डू इट अ लिटिल स्लोअर doubts with respect to fingering please do refer to the notations provided each of those notations has a fingering tab which might help you so the second subdivision from lesson 8 was tak din talang tak din talang so if we add tak tari kita tak to it sounds like this tak din talang tak तरवी किट तक तक दिन तलांग तक तरवी किट तक स्प्ले लिटिल स्लोअर The third subdivision was the exact reverse of the second one. It was ta la g ta k din ta la g ta k din. So if we add ta k ta ri kita ta k do it. Ta la g ta k din ta k ta ri kita ta k ta la g ta k din ta k ta ri kita ta k.
सबडिविजन फोर वर्स तक दिन किट तक तक दिन किट तक एंड फिर आर तक तेरे किट तक बिकम्स तक दिन किट तक तक तेरे किट तक तक दिन किट तक तक तेरे किट तक एंड इट इस प्लेड लाइक दिस Subdivision five was the exact reverse of subdivision four. Was kitta tak tak din kitta tak tak din. Now we're gonna add tak teri ke liye to this. Kitta tak tak din tak teri kitta tak kitta tak tak din tak teri kitta tak one two. Subdivision six was tak din dum kit tak din dum kit. So now it becomes tak din dum kit tak teri kit tak tak din dum kit tak teri kit tak one two one two three four. Subdivision seven was the exact reverse of subdivision six. Dum kitta tak din dum kitta tak din. So now it sounds like dum kitta tak din tak teri kitta tak dum kitta tak din tak teri kitta tak. Two one two. Subdivision eight was dum kitta dum kitta dum kitta dum kitta. With that, that is another sound like this. Dum kitta dum kitta tak teri kitta tak dum kitta dum kitta tak teri kitta tak one two one two three four.
डिवीजन नाइन वस किट तक किट तक किट तक किट तक नाउ इट बिकम्स किट तक किट तक तक तरी किट तक किट तक किट तक तक तरी किट तक वन टू वन टू थ्री फोर The last subdivision was ta la g ta la g ta la g ta la g. Now it sounds like this. Ta la g ta la g ta ka ta ri ki ta ta ka ta la g ta la g ta ka ta ri ki ta ta ka one two one two. As you can see, lesson eleven is just a collection of phrases derived from lesson eight and lesson nine. At this point, if you have any doubts with respect to fingering, please do go back and refer to the notations, and the fingering tab will certainly help you out. Lesson twelve is the last lesson of module one, and unlike other lessons, this one has a sequence built in, which makes it really interesting. Let me explain with a visual representation. Lesson twelve has five segments. The first segment has three A's, three B's, three C's, and three D's, each followed by an X. The second segment has two A's, two B's, two C's, and two D's, each followed by an X. The third segment just has one A B C D followed by an X, and the fourth segment has just A B C D. As a conclusion to this pattern. The last segment has C C followed by a Y, C C followed by a Y, and C C, which will bring us back to the beginning of the rhythm cycle. Here, A represents kita taka ta, B represents kita taka d, C represents kita taka dom, and D represents kita taka nam. While X represents ki. T and Y represents Tam. So lesson twelve with Adi Talam sounds like this: one, two, three, four. Kitta takka ta. Kitta takka ta. Kitta takka ta. Ki ta. Kitta takka di. Kitta takka di. Kitta takka di. Ki. ट 
टर किट टर तक कर दी की टर किट टर तक कर दुम की टर किट टर तक कर नम की टर किट टर तक कर ता किट टर तक कर दी किट टर तक कर दुम किट टर तक कर नम किट टर तक कर दुम किट टर तक कर दुम ता हाँ किट टर तक कर दुम किट टर तक कर दुम ता हाँ किट टर तक कर दुम किट टर तक कर दुम ता Before we get to play this, a quick point. The tam that happens in the last line. Kit tat tat kar dum. Kit tat tat kar dum. Ta. The tam is chapu plus dum. So. So. So that's how it's played. Now let's play the whole lesson. One, two, one, two, three, four.
that's a wrap. We are done with module 1. Hope this tutorial was helpful. Practice hard and don't forget to have fun.